So now we'll move on to the next step that is importing our first track into Anki. Double click on the Anki icon to launch it. Okay, so we are back to the interface that was present when we installed. Now minimize it and double click on the deck. This is the deck that I'll be using which is a combination of uh, around 5 decks that I, comp that I have compiled from different decks in from reddit so double click on this deck now there are import options since our collection is mostly empty uh, is empty so we'll just click on import and we don't need to bother with any of these settings the import pro process will take a bit of time depending on the size of the deck So it has imported the database now it's importing the media files. Media files will take a bit longer because we are expecting them to be around like 40-50,000 media files procs. Okay so the import is finally complete we have seen that it has imported around 1,15,000 nodes. So none of the notes have been skipped as this was a, a completely empty collection before so now we will close this this is the whole this is the main deck and all these are sub decks within the main deck uh, you can have a look at these uh, and can find and can find these decks on different subreddits now we'll collapse the main deck First of all, as you can see that there are around 20 new cards shown here. So now we have to change these numbers according to our preferences. So click on the settings button and then go on options. This is the default, uh, default options group that is being used for all the decks right now. So new cards per day you can set it to unlimited. Uh, don't worry we won't be doing these many cards every day but uh, this is just to remove any limitations the learning steps i like to set them similar to what anking recommended in one of his videos that is uh, 25 minutes and 14 40 minutes 14 40 minutes is equal to one day graduating interval is four days and easy interval is seven days this is these are all the initial settings these won't matter later on when we'll enable fsrs which is one of the new algorithm used in Anki. Right now we won't be able to enable it because uh, it needs some data for calculating the values. Like we can enable it but uh, this won't work any pro much properly because uh, the optimization won't happen because of the lack of any data. Maximum interval we are changing to yeah 365 this is around 10 years mm -hmm. yeah so this is fine here also we will change to 25 minutes new review order uh, i'll change i like to keep it show after review so that i do the reviews first and then i come to the new cards um, now click on save okay so as we set as we have set the settings now it's showing 9999 now go to browse okay yes so i want you to click on dex this will show all your cards in the collection click on any single card right now as you can see all cards are like unsuspended Unsu when a card is unsuspended it means that it is on like it will show up in when you start doing your cards in the deck but first of all we'll turn all these cards off now click on any single card press ctrl and a on the keyboard uh, it will take a bit of time to select all the cards since the collection is quite large okay now it's selected all the cards now press ctrl and j 
to suspend all the cards as you can see now all cards are shown in this yellow color which means they are suspended and they are off so here it is again back it is now back to zero because all cards are turned off if we go to browse again now what you can do is uh, you can keep opening cards based on tags or decks whatever you prefer i'll be jumping more into it in the next video i have included the link to the deck i have compiled in the description of this video along with that i have included the links to the decks from which the compilation was made if you need to dive deeper into what are the contents of the individual decks in the next video i'll be explaining the different terminologies used in anki with respect to managing cards